Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to recreate the Life of Pablo album cover. It came out three years ago to this date and it was a lot different than a lot of Kanye album covers. Like a lot of the old ones like were really dynamic and had a lot of color and stuff like that. Maybe not a lot of color, but they were like abstract, right? Like there's a lot of depth to it. And this was like the first 2D one. Now Kanye, I think has shifted to that more flat looking album cover. Like with Ye, it's kind of flat. It's just like a iPhone picture. And this was actually a kind of popular cover because of just the text uh, similar to how if you're reading it it's too late uh, also had you know cool text that nobody's really seen and it was really plain as well it just had a white background this one has like a tan background like really like if you look at it it's just two pictures and a bunch of text right and i think this cover came before that i'm not even sure what this is i just saw it on the internet but I, i'm sure i've seen this before but basically i'm not gonna really teach you how to recreate it because it's really simple and there's a lot of generators you can find on the internet i will be however releasing a template so you can edit this in photoshop I think Photoshop gives you a bit more freedom to what you can do with the backgrounds and stuff like that in the pictures because it's Photoshop and not just a website. Uh, so if you want that, just like this video. I also made a couple of other breakdowns yesterday uh, for the two Drake projects that had anniversaries yesterday. So if you also have any like suggestions on what I should break down, also put that in the comment section. But yeah, I'll be teaching you how to save time uh, with this text thing. You know, you know how it repeats a bunch of times. I'm going to teach you how you can do that faster without duplicating a bunch of times, you know, or constantly copying and pasting. So yeah, with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So right here, I have the two covers. I just wanted to show this for reference. This is the actual cover and it's pretty simple, you know, just repeated text. So I have um, the life of Steven right here lined up. So it's lined up perfectly with um, the life of Pablo, except for it's the life of Steven. And essentially you want to start off by copying and pasting, which is the kind of like the opposite of what I said. And you want to make sure like the, the margins right here, like the spacing vertically is the same. So in this case, it isn't, I think it's too little. So you want to highlight. So press control A on all the text and then right here, you just want to increase it until it spaces out pretty decently. So like this, and essentially you have this now, right? And if you don't want to do a bunch of times, so if you wanted to create something like this, right? And you don't want to copy and paste and do the same thing, which it isn't, it doesn't take that long, right? But if you want to speed up the process, all you have to do is press on the move tool right here, press control or command, depending if you're Mac or windows and click on the T right here while you're holding command, it'll highlight the text. Now you want to go to edit, define brush preset, and you know, call this life of Pablo. Now what will happen is this will become a brush. So literally, if you just make a new layer, you can just stamp this a bunch of places. So you want to press Ctrl D to deselect. And then now you can just put this anywhere, essentially. So I'm going to make it black right here, the brush size or the brush color. And then we're just going to do it a bunch of times. And you can actually hold shift and drag down. It'll do this cool thing. So you can, or you can, you don't even have to hold shift, actually, my bad. Holding shift will just make it go straight. You can do something cool with that. You can just repeat it. You know, you can do this with anything, really. It doesn't have to follow, you know, the life of Steven or whatever. Here, let me show you how this speeds up the process. So right here, if you just made a which one brush, you can just literally just stamp it like this and it'd be so easy. If I were following um, this lead right here, this would be pretty easy to make. So literally all they did was probably just this, right? A bunch of these. It doesn't even look like it's straight, to be honest. The second row, you just want to overlap. So don't move it over here, move it like over here. And that's literally all they did. You can make bigger sizes, smaller sizes, like really that's it so i wanted you guys to take this away from this video because although it's a simple album cover it probably like kanye or whoever created this probably put a lot of thought into it like i can just continue to put like the life of steven uh, down here and it would be pretty simple but you can utilize this same text brush thing on a lot of your other projects. So let me just go ahead and finish this and show you the final product. So if I want this to line up, I'll just increase the size until I see what size fits. So a little bit bigger. So I'm, I'm pressing the up arrow. So it just goes up by ones. So something like this, something like this, and I can just delete the part that doesn't fit. So like the last two rows don't actually need to be there. And then, and then I can delete it where the picture goes. So it looks something like this and the picture would be right there. There's another life of Pablo right here or life of Steven, but there's a space. What I'll do here, what you can do to just move it, press down on the brush. You can just highlight that part, press control. It'll show the scissors icon and you just want to hold control and move it. So let me show you again, highlight this, press control and you can move it. And there you go. Same thing applies to the first line right here. You can see how this is supposed to be like toward the right actually. So what I can do is I can just move this to, this would be how it looks like. And then which one, 
I'm just gonna do subscribe like or something to make it easier for myself because something that's applicable to me just make it the same size it doesn't have to be the same words something like this um so if you see it's right there so just copy it a couple times make sure the margins are right i think it's almost there so something like this and now you want to press control and click on the t right there go to edit define brush and then um subscribe and then once you're done that press control d to deselect and you can use the old layer you can use a new one um but yeah you can just click click on things like this where it's lined up you don't have to necessarily um use this brush like preset you can just type because it'll be straighter uh than if you just eyeball it but for stuff like um this where it's sort of all over the place and a little bit more abstract you can use the brush and here it's um under the picture once again so you want to just do the same thing and just delete it from the picture later you can even use the guidelines to just line it up here and then you have a little bit you know of a a guideline of where you should press and then you can press the marquee tool and then just select where the picture is or you can like literally just put the picture over it doesn't matter so that's about it and now i just have to add the pictures so let me put this picture of belgium uh when i was in brussels i think it actually fits sort of like the the vibe you know what i mean so i'm just gonna put it right here it doesn't have to line up perfectly and then i'm gonna take a picture like this this is um, a helicopter ride in Toronto. Shout out to Fly GTA Airlines for that. And something like that. So if you go up before and after, there you go. You would probably want to use a longer picture here. So I wouldn't use, because it, it needs to fill in the space. So I'll change the Belgian picture to something else. That's landscape. I don't really take landscape pictures. So this is going to be hard. Honestly, I think I'm going to just take this picture and rotate it instead because I don't really have horizontal pictures like that. So right here, this is Travis Scott on a roller coaster. It actually doesn't look horizontal. I mean, it doesn't look like it's flipped because it's a roller coaster and it's like it was a circle, so it kind of works in my favor. But here I'm gonna cut it. So I had to rasterize it first and then cut it, move it down a little, and there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll leave the template in the description. It, it'll be on my website. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. My name is Steven, and I'll see you in the next one.